Welcome back to Christmas Cookie Week. Today is day six and we are making raspberry and almond shortbread thumbprints. This recipe is beautiful and so delicious. You are going to love it. So to start off for this recipe, you'll need a cup of butter softened. So that's two sticks of butter, two thirds of a cup of white sugar, a half a teaspoon of almond extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of seedless raspberry jam, a half a cup of confectioner's sugar, three-fourths of a teaspoon of almond extract, and one teaspoon of milk. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. So to start this recipe off, the first thing you wanna do is put both of your sticks of softened butter into your bowl. So the way that I usually handle softening butter is I pull the butter out of the fridge the night before and put it on my countertop, and then in the morning I am ready to bake because it has been thoroughly softened, but not too softened. Then you're gonna add in your white sugar to your butter and you're gonna cream those ingredients together really, really well. Once that's creamed together, the next step is to mix in half a teaspoon of almond extract. Make sure to put in the half a teaspoon here and then the three fourths of a teaspoon will be later for your drizzle. So once those things are all combined together, you're gonna slowly mix in your flour. So I usually do this in three batches as usual. So I'll put a little flour in and then mix away. And then once it is pretty much well incorporated, I'll add a little bit more flour in and then mix that until that's well incorporated and then do it a third time. Remember that these are shortbread cookies and shortbread is a lot more, the dough and the cookie are a lot more crumbly than other types of cookies. So even by the time that you're completely finished with the dough, it's not going to be like a smooth, really creamy, wet dough. It will be pretty dry and crumbly and that's what you're looking for because shortbread is really just butter, sugar, and flour and it is really just delicious. I love shortbread. So once all of that is well combined, you can see that dough there in the corner is a little bit crumbly, and we're gonna get ready to assemble the cookies. So first I'm just giving my raspberry jam a quick stir just to loosen it up a little bit so it's easier to scoop into the cookies in a minute here. So my cookie scoop is two tablespoons, and I wanted my cookies to be slightly smaller than that, so I'm taking a scoop and then pinching off a little piece and then putting that dough ball onto my baking sheet. So you can see I'm doing that again, pinching off just a little piece and, and kind of so on and so forth. And so I'm slowly doing that and filling up my baking sheet with these little dough balls, and the next step is a super fun one, and that's when we actually get to do the thumbprint part. Here we go with the thumbprint part, but you couldn't have guessed that. So you're just taking your thumb and your other fingers and creating a little well in each cookie. And it doesn't have to be super, super huge, but you want it to be big enough that you can put a little bit of raspberry jam into each one. This would be a fun activity if you have little ones in the house. I think they would probably enjoy getting their thumbs into that dough. And then you're taking the raspberry jam and you're just putting a little bit in each one. I'm not measuring this out, I'm just kind of eyeballing it so a few of them have a little bit more jam than others do, but I think that's the beauty of homemade cookies, homemade baked goods. It doesn't have to be perfect to be delicious at all. So you're just gonna follow through and do all of the rest of those. Here's what they look like right before they go into the oven. You can see that shortbread's really sturdy and it's like holding the jam in place. And then and even throughout the baking process, that shortbread will hold its form really well and won't like spread out a whole lot or anything like that. I'm baking in my 350 degree oven for 16 minutes. You can do anywhere between 14 and 18, 16 worked well for me. And now I'm moving on to making the drizzle. So you're just mixing together your confectioner sugar, that 3 fourths of a teaspoon of almond extract and your one teaspoon of milk, and you're slowly incorporating it. As I started incorporating this, I noticed that the texture of this mixture was just a little bit too thick. It really wasn't loosening up. And so I took my milk out of the fridge and just added another little splash of it. So if you find that yours is too runny, then add a little bit more confectioner sugar. And if yours is too thick, like mine was, then add a little bit more milk. 
the key is to just add a little bit at a time because you don't want to totally overthrow the mixture but as you'll see here in a second as I added just that little bit more milk it totally changed the consistency and this is really a much better drizzling consistency since that's exactly what it is it's going to be a drizzle over the cookies Now after these cookies have finished baking for 16 minutes, I pulled the first batch out and popped the second batch in. And now it's time to go ahead and drizzle. So I'm just taking my little confectioner sugar drizzle mixture and just kind of going over each cookie. If you did this on a cooling rack, then the excess drizzle would drizzle right onto your countertop or whatever was under it. And so it wouldn't pool around the edges of the cookies like mine are here. But to be honest with you, after making this many cookies in a week, I genuinely did not mind the pooling. I think it looks even more charming and more homemade. At least that's what I'm telling myself. And so that's, that's that, but you can do it however you'd like to. Then I'm pulling them off of the baking sheet and onto the cooling rack so that they can cool to completion. The jelly will always be a little bit sticky, but it definitely does firm up some after being baked and cooled. Here's what they look like once they come out of the oven. I just think they're really pretty. They're just a nice, lovely raspberry color for the Christmas season I think is so just lovely. And these are delicious. The almond shortbread with that tangy raspberry and that glaze on top, that little drizzle on top is just so divine. I really think that you will love this recipe and your friends and family will love it as well. And I like that it's a little different. It's a little different than other recipes. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for Christmas Cookie Week Day 7.